Hi everyone, in this video we will learn about enums in Kotlin. So whenever we want to represent a group of constants, we can use enums. And defining enum is very easy, we can simply write enum class. And let's say we have a enum class and we can name it anything, let's say color or basically whatever you want. So this is our enum class color and here we can define constants. So for example, let's say we have red, we have green and we have blue. Now all these constants that we have inside this color enum are objects and we can get all the values using this color enum and we can simply do it like this. We can write color dot values. Now this values function will give us an array of type color. That means we will get all the values available inside enum color. So we can simply loop like this. You can see we are getting all the enums. We can also pass or use enums with our when statement. So we can write when, let's say we have an enum val color equals to color dot, let's say red and we can write here when color and here we can simply generate all the remaining branches like this so we have all the cases here red green and blue let's just write a print ln statement you can see we are getting red because the color value is red so for these cases we can use enums you can also pass a constructor with your enum. For example, here I can pass a val color name that is string and val color value that is end. Now when I pass these two values to the enum color constructor, we have to define the constructors for all the enums or all the constants defined inside the enum. So here we need to define the name and the value. Let's say for red we have value 10. So you can have these extra values with your enums and you can create enum constants like this. Now if you want to access an enum what you can do is you can simply write I will comment these things. So I will write here uh, println color dot red dot color name and the same way I can access the color value like this. You can see we are getting red and 10. You can also implement or inherit interfaces with your enums. For example, I have an interface that is interface do color and inside this interface I have a function fun do color like this. Now I can inherit this interface like this. We have do color. Now everything here inside this color enum is an object. So we can simply define it like this and here we can write do color. Colored with red or you can write whatever you want. The same way we can define the do color function for all other constants. So here we have colored with green and colored with blue like this. So here you can simply call uh, color dot let's say green dot do color. You can see it is working absolutely fine. And one more thing that I would like to tell you is you cannot inherit abstract classes or open classes to your enum. If you will try to do this, you will get an error. Let's say we have an abstract class A. And if I try to inherit A, then I will get an error. As you can see here, enum class cannot inherit from classes. So you can only use interfaces with your enums. And enums are used to define constants a set of constants and the compiler knows at the compile time the all possible values and it is handy to generate all possible values with your 
when statement so that is all for this video friends i hope you found this video helpful and learned something thanks for watching